The Chilworth Sustainability Fair exhibited electric vehicles, boats and bicycles as well as ways to reduce food waste and eat better together with environmentally friendly and upcycled products. Alison Finley said she organised it. Uh, because there is such an interest in uh, what we're doing to the environment and I thought it would be uh, useful really for people to come and see what was happening um, and to that end we've got a variety of people here with electric cars, electric bikes and so on um, and indoors we've got a lot of things where people have recycled or um, they're selling things which are environmentally friendly. More than 200 people attended the fair. The stand exhibiting an all-electric rich inflatable boat saw a lot of interest. The innovator Martin Dorfell spoke about his hopes for the technology. I think the Southampton port historically has always been quite bad in terms of air pollution. You can see some old photos, some old pictures and it's quite badly polluted and it still is really badly polluted at the moment uh, because there are lots of cruise ships. So I am really hoping that uh, electric propulsion and battery technology uh, can clean, um, at least locally, clean up uh, the air in, in Southampton when the ships come in. There's this idea of, it's called the hour of power, which means every ship should have the ability to go one hour electric without pollution, and that would allow them to come into the port and to uh, uh, leave the port again. Um, and most big ships are, um, have got electric pop drives anyway, so they use diesel generators, electric pots, and to add a energy storage in the form of a battery is actually not that difficult because it's, the technology is half there and it would have lots of other benefits. So I'm hoping that's going to happen. The Mayor of Test Valley, Councillor Hatley, also attended and he shared how he is able to use his interactions at events to share the Council's waste reduction agenda, saying... And, and just sometimes explaining um, how easy it is to recycle something or even to reuse something. And I go back on my own childhood when we used to uh, reuse far more than we used to recycle. For example, if a package came and wrapped up in brown paper, we used to use the brown paper again and we used to use the string again. And so if you can actually reuse, it's even better than recycle. Some practices like Councillor Hatley's account of reuse are time consuming and costly. This means that people in more deprived areas can struggle to make sustainable lifestyle changes. Chilworth is much less deprived than the median ward in England and there is a reserve of skills to help people minimise food waste. We have tried to show how actually the food we throw away, and uh, there's a high proportion thrown away, probably 30% at least of food normally, um, how that actually you can stop doing that and you can actually um, reuse the food. Um, so we've got a variety of dishes there which take um, on board the, um, for example, the, the ends of the roast you can then put into a meal for Monday. Uh, we're also showing how you can actually regrow some of the um, vegetables that you have, such as the end of a leaf, if you plant it in water, it'll come up again. So there's plenty of things like that for people to take away, which don't cost anything and save you throwing food away.